Yeah, I wanted to go over a few things um, before I head out in the woods. Um, I had a comment on my last video uh, when I was building the workbench, and uh, they were correct in the fact that I didn't have safety glasses on. And not that I don't have enough pairs of safety glasses, but anyway, I'm heading out in the woods, and we're going to uh, buck up some rounds and uh, bring them in and, and uh, get them... Uh, processed up but uh, before I do that I wanted to show you that I do use safety equipment and uh, I do wear chaps and uh, things you got to have out there you got to have your ear protection uh, your eye protection it's good to have uh, some wedges and some, some gloves and I uh, got a homemade uh, marking tool um, to measure the length of the rounds it's just a magnet screwed onto end a piece of a dowel rod 16 inches long and then I also carry um, small hatchet some extra fuel oil and the um, got some files so and then you also got to have a cold beverage while you're out there stay hydrated so anyway I will uh, be back with you soon So we bucked up some couple small trees this morning and then uh, kind of turned it into this.
and normally I use a maul or an axe but we have a new addition to the family and this is the new addition 25 ton county line wood splitter and we did purchase the accessory table there which does help a ton that took about 30 minutes to do normally would have took me all day so I just wanted to share that with you today uh, we did uh, get those two trees bucked up and then split and uh, it was 91 degrees here today in Lake City, Michigan. Went through three t-shirts and uh, got quite warm. But uh, I wanted to thank everybody for checking out these videos. And uh, I appreciated all the comments that we're getting. Uh, so if you guys would uh, like this video, uh, and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Stay safe and stay positive.